these are all my thoughts and opinions based on information out in the public domain. Please be aware that these are just my thoughts and opinions, okay? It might, I think it has dawned on Harry, and he must really regret marrying Meghan Markle. Because I am sure it's dawned on him that how privileged he was to be working for the monarchy. Not being a member of the royal family, please. And the reason why I make that distinction is because there's lots of people that are... Anybody who's related to the queen is a member of the royal family, you know. But not everybody works in the monarchy. So it must dawn now on Harry how sweet he had it and how little he had to do in return for how much he got. Because let's face it, Harry, if you think that Harry was planning the Invictus Games, no. That was a team of hardworking people who made sure. And, and every, by the way, the Invictus thing was to vamp up the monarchy's image. This is why they indulged Harry with that. And they gave him a whole team of incredibly qualified professionals to assist him. All he had to do was show up, look, you know, look decent, be nice to people, travel first class, if not private planes, his own security, all kinds of perks. That's all he had to do. The people, there was a whole team of people doing the real work. So now, the reason why I'm doing this video right now is because the sugars are really, really active today. They're t sending me email telling me that security is a birthright. No. <laughs> you know, I've actually pondered about the word birthright and I looked it up and it says right that you inherited at birth. Such, uh, and, and I mean, it goes into a long thing. So basically, as a birthright, I am entitled that my parents feed me, clothe me. But this is according to the law, right? Because the parents bear a responsibility to ensure my well-being up to the age that I can fend for myself, basically. So when people, the sugar sending me the email telling me that security is a birthright of Harry. No, it's not. I mean, if we were to give security, and, and please, it doesn't matter that he wants to pay for it. He wants to pay for it. Why would he need to pay for it? If he has very good U.S. security, he could hire his own private security in the U.K. who liaise with the Met Police in kind, in, you know, for threats because the, all decent security firms, they have connections with the police, wherever the police is. That's what you're paying the big bucks for, you know. But of course, he doesn't want to pay the big bucks and he wants to set a legal precedent because right now he's offering to pay for it. But pretty soon he's going to say, wait a minute, he's going to go back because if you give a mouse a cookie, he will want the milk. Once you give him the milk, he wants another cookie. And then again, he wants the milk. This is um, an ongoing cycle. This is why you don't, you don't um, negotiate with terrorists because I believe Harry and Meghan are terrorists. So the security he got was because he was working for the monarchy, uh, representing her, assisting Her Majesty the Queen in doing her duties. Now, He's not doing it anymore and he did it by choice because that bullshit about oh we want to be part-time royals no what they wanted to say is we don't want to work with you and if we work it's going to be our way we're going to get all these perks and we're just going to show up whenever we can we're going to be as hateful as we want we're going to bull anybody we want and you're going to take it or leave it that's because they overplayed their imaginary importance, their imagined importance. So, Meghan Markle is a bully, and so is Harry. Harry is racist, and so is Meghan. <laughs> you know, uh, security is not a birthright. All the perks that they got, 
that Harry had enjoyed his life. And this is the problem that I tell you, that they, that they, that he, he feels entitled to everything without giving anything in return because all his life, that's how he lived. And the same goes for Meghan Markle. So, you know, you have these two entitled jerks. I can guarantee you that there is no love lost in Montecito right now. Harry must be hating Meghan. Hey, Meghan must be hating Harry. They're just trying to set a precedent that they are entitled to security. No, he's not entitled to security. Then what does that mean? That we have to give security that that the Met is going to be their own exclusive uh, prior company for hire? You know, the, the Met Police is a, is a uh, and I, this is to all the sugars, is a tax funded organization to protect the public. And people who are actually important are doing something for the public. For example, in this public function, you know, like public figures who work for the government because they're working on our behalf, looking out for our own interest. They're not there to protect the likes of Victoria Beckham, uh, you know, George Clooney when he comes. So I feel I'm entitled because I'm an actor or because I'm a royal. That's really stupid. So, uh, you know, the Met, the Met doesn't have a section for private hire. And this is what people don't get. He, Harry has to shell out the big bucks if he wants to hire a decent company. He can hire one in the UK if he wants to. So his company in the US can organize with his company in the UK. So they can, you know, arrange it. So when he lands in the UK, the UK company is waiting for him. And, and not a big deal. So he doesn't need to ha bring his US people. All he needs to do is have a security, private security company in the UK who liaises, who communicates with the Met Police, and that's it. He doesn't need that, but he doesn't want to shell the big bucks. And he wants to sneak his way into getting the security free if he gets it in the, in the, um, if, the if he gets a court that says, yes, he must have security because he's royal. That's absolute bullshit. So that is... But, I mean, these are all my thoughts and opinions. And I can tell you that they're not very happy at the moment. At all. And one thing for you people to consider, that if he were to get that, then that means that when he divorces Megan or Megan divorces his ass, Megan will be entitled to security because he's married to the sixth in line to the throne, whatever, you know, whatever you want to call that. So, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. So to all the sugars who keep writing me, no, security is not a birthright. And he's not the, you know, if Megan quit calling all the, all the paps, you know who would be good to subpoena for anything? Do you guys remember that pap? I, I, I shared that, 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 that um, video with you where the pap was interrogated in TMC about Megan Markle, where they were... He says, yes, she used to call me all the time for photo ops. And then they ask him, is she still calling you? And then he said, no comment. So it would be interesting to see how many times Meghan Markle keeps phoning the paps. Because the ones that she doesn't sue are the ones that she calls. So, you know, I know that they have... I, I, I even hear people in the media, in, you know, GB News, Good Morning America. But he's a prince. So what? So what? Sarah Tyndall, by a technicality and due to a letter's patent, is not a princess because, you know, of a letter's patent. But she's of royal blood because her grandmother, just like Harry, is the Queen of England. And you don't see Sarah going around with security. You don't see Princess Anne going around with security. So that's, I mean, can you imagine how much Harry must be kicking himself? For having married Meghan Markle. I'm sure he must look at her and go. God damn I gave all of that up for this. And you know. He quit. He gave it all up. He quit. He quit. He was given a year to think it over. And behave decently. And instead he behaved worse. What he's doing now. Is also very bad. And it, as I told you before. It shows what kind of a jerk he is. But yeah, I'm sure regrets, like Frank Sinatra said, I've had a few. <laughs> and for him, there's quite a few regrets. Anyways, thank you for watching. Do like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Before I actually go, I've forgotten about this point. 
You know how people say, oh, the monarchy wanted to mold Meghan to behave in a certain way, dress in a certain way. I get newsflash for those people who condemn that. Every company has a dress code <laughs> and co codes of conduct, by the way. Um, I remember, I'll give you, I mean, I'll give you, and this was not even by any stretch of the imagination, the monarchy. This was, I was working for Sears and I was a manager there. And I remember I came with some jeans, you know, there were black jeans. And I remember I was told to go back and get changed because, you know, jeans were not allowed in the office. This is in spite of the fact that there were dark jeans and they, were, they didn't even look like jeans. I wasn't back. I wasn't pissed. I just went back because they were right. And I changed, you know, into dress pants and, 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 and match my suit and everything. All companies have codes of conduct. They have dress codes. They, you know, they, and so for people who don't, who, who are saying, oh, they're a royal family, they have to dress this way. They have to wear this kind of nail polish. Yes. Because, you know, they, they represent one of the most prestigious institutions in the world. And they don't want to look like tramps. Like, like a bunch of, you know, skanks, you know, out in there with red, you know. It doesn't go that way. You are representing an organization and there's certain dress codes. So that's how it is. So, and Megan and Harry couldn't even do that. Because if you look at Megan, her dresses, were, well, this is a woman clearly, you know, you know, if there's... If there's, a, if there's someone who can, if there's the best example that, cl that money cannot buy class is Megan. Because she went from having almost no money to being in, in, a, in an institution that she had her pick of designers. And she still managed to look like crap. You know, anyways, th that's what I wanted to say. Please like, share and subscribe and follow me on Getter, beautiful people. Mm -hmm.